everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadabra.com and today is a continuation of the Inkscape Dragon Bones tutorial part two. So I've already laid out the character and separated it into uh, different parts such as the eyebrows are both separate on separate layers and there's two different types of eye styles and as well as two different types of mouth now I tried to make the character a little bit easy to follow, so I didn't make a large amount of variations in the eyes and the mouth, but you could do more than two, of course. And then I've uh, exported each one of these out as groups. And the way to make a group is you basically select all the uh, pieces of the object, like this one, if I ungroup it, you can see it's made up of a lot of separate pieces and if I zoom in you can see that each one of these pieces are uh, separate so if I select the whole entire piece and then click um, right click and then select group I can group them together and then after I have them grouped together I will go over to file export as PNG and it'll open up this little menu over here. Now you're supposed to be able to uh, batch export these however for some reason my batch export is not working. So basically you would select all of these check this box and then hit export and it would batch export all 14 objects but I had to do it individually and I had to select each one and export them I don't know if that's just a bug that I ran into or if I had something set up wrong. So um, after you do that, then you'll have a folder and it'll have all the components for your character in it. And then we'll just uh, jump over to Dragon Bones and import these uh, objects into Dragon Bones. So click New Project, Create Animation, and we'll do an armature template and then click finish and once you have this opened up you go up to file import to library and you'll basically import all the assets to library now I have the new assets saved on my desktop and then a folder called body so I'm going to select all these objects by left clicking and dragging and then click open and now if you look over in the library you'll see my library is populated with all of the different parts to the character and if you slowly scroll over top of them it'll actually show you what they are so the first thing I need to do is I need to drag the uh, legs and the arms out to the stage so that they'll be on a bottom layer I'm going to go ahead and do this leg let me see where all my legs are on this and I'm going to go ahead and do both arms and then I'll go ahead and drag out the body next and the head. Now I went ahead and left the uh, shadows for the eyes on the head layer. You could do that sep You could put that on a separate layer if you don't want them to always be there. But I, I actually wanted to use it so that I could line up the eyes a little bit easier. Then uh, I went ahead and did each one of the eyebrows separately. That way that the eyebrows could be lifted up and rotated different directions to give uh, different facial expressions. So, actually, we don't want to put that eyebrow on the screen yet. We want to do the eyes first. So, I want to do this set of eyes right here. And now I can add the mouth. I'm going to go use mouth one. And left eyebrow.
and the right eyebrow. Okay, so now that we have all of this stuff on the screen, we get everything lined up where we want it. Now if you hold down the control key, you can select multiple objects. Alright, so now we basically got the character laid out the way we want it on the screen. Control Z to undo anything that you did by mistake. Probably want the arms up just a hair higher. And now we have all these into position. You can swap out eyes and stuff like that so you can have multiple eyes. So what I want to do is I want to take the second group of eyes and drag it up to the eye layer up here. Now you notice that it didn't position it correctly. And that's a common problem that I've ran into. Um, but you can you can uh, select the different transforms like uh, like where its position is on the X and Y. So go down here to bottom and first we're going to copy this right here and we'll go back to this set of eyes and we'll just paste those numbers right there and then that'll reposition that and then go back to I1 and then copy this position go back to I2 and then paste it down here at the bottom and now we have I1 I2 they're both in the correct positions now so I can just simply click over here and the eyes will open and close now. You can do the same thing with the mouth. So we'll go ahead and select the mouth. And let's go and find it in our list over here. It's right there. It says mouth one. So you can see down here at the bottom, mouth two is still white colored. So that means it's not part of this collection. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that up to the top here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll select mouth one, go down here to the bottom, copy this position, go back to mouth two, which is right there, paste this position, select mouth one again, and copy this position and then we'll go back to mouth 2 and then paste this here and now those pieces are in the correct position as well so now you can change what eyes you have selected and you can also change what mouth you have selected Okay, now that we have the uh, character basically laid out here, what we need to do next is we need to add bones to this character. So we'll go up here to the top, click this Create Bones, and we'll start with the body. We'll go ahead and drag up a bone here. Go ahead and drag out one for the arm. Start on the arm, end on the arm. Select the center bone again and drag on the arm and end on the arm. Center bone again. Oops. Drag on the leg, end on the leg. Select the center bone again. Drag on the leg and end on the leg. Now we'll select the body bone again and then select the head and click and drag to the top of the head. 
So now we have the bones for the body and basically if we rotate this we'll see what happened is the head is moving without the rest of the face. So to fix that with go through each item so we'll start with the top eyebrow and we'll click right click and then select let me see where it's at set parent and then we will select this bone and this bone will be the parent to this and we'll do the same thing with the eyebrow set parent select the bone select the eyes set parent select the bone now we'll select the mouth do a right click again and then set parent and select the bone so now if we go to the rotation tool down here at the bottom and select the bone make sure you have the rotation tool and now if we rotate the whole entire head moves with the eyes mouth and eyebrows so we got that part set so now we should be able to add bones to the eyebrows as well with this bone selected click and drag out the eyebrow bone select this center bone again click and drag out another eyebrow bone and now your character should be for the most part completely rigged unless you want to add more features to it um, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the animation layer which is this button up here at the top and we'll see what we can do with this character the way it is right now so we're going to go over here and rename this to uh, default Default? Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Then we're going to clone this layer. And we're going to name this animation. Now that we have the default layer set up and then an animation layer set up, what we want to do is just do like we did before and uh, in a previous video and uh, move around the character's bones. So I'll select this bone and I'll rotate his head. And we don't want to rotate it too much because we don't want to see that body shoulder behind there. And then move up on the timeline. I'm going to go to 12. Rotate the head the other direction just a little bit and now the head nods back and forth now what we want to do is change the eye so we can select the eye right click on it and do swap display and then change it to a closed eye and then about here we're going to swap this back out and change it to open eyes and select the mouth and change it to an open mouth so now the character moves his head back and forth which is a little bit too fast you can do one of two things you can either extend this timeline out clicking and dragging everything and moving it out and giving it a little bit more time to move or you can actually change the frame rate and the frame rate is currently set to 12 so if I change it to our 24 which is standard frame rate for animation if I change it to 12 and click play you can see it's much slower and that's pretty much the basics of getting started on this now that we have an animation layer and a default layer, the default layer has absolutely zero animation on it. So it's just rigged. 
and you can duplicate this layer and then create a walk cycle or whatever you need for video games and animation and basically just by cloning this layer so you right click on it and clone and then you could have a walk cycle and so on uh, other than that there's not really a whole bunch more to this um, I could probably go into a little bit more detail about what some of the other settings do but to get a basic start on a character this is pretty much all you need to know one thing I forgot to tell you about Dragon Bones is in order to actually be able to save your projects out and export them you have to log into your account and if you don't have an account create one you just hit this little login button at the top and I'll probably make a part three to this as a continuation um, over more of the features in this program. Anyways, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.